What's up everybody guys, welcome to Mio Mars Touches and a Tutorial. This time, the topic is projection mapping. You can do it at home. We're gonna create this. Projection mapping is impressive. You guys might have watched it and experienced it before. But maybe you think about doing it is difficult or unable of cost and place. But don't worry, this tutorial makes you do it on your desk and it's cheaper. How do you do that? First of all, I'm gonna show you the process of the projection mapping. It's 7 steps. If you can go along these steps, you definitely do projection mapping effectively and efficiently. It doesn't matter if you don't understand entire processes. First step, mapping simulation in TouchZen. Second, prepare or create objects that are project. Third, prepare the 3D models of them. This time is photogrammetry. Fourth, set projector and objects. Fifth, creating textures. Sixth, projection. Last step, adjustment. So, you can get not only projection mapping, but also photogrammetry. That is useful, huh? And whole things are not difficult. This video is for beginners. So, let's take a look at the first step of mapping simulation. Open Touch Designer and delete all the old code. I'm gonna create a virtual projector by camera comp and light comp. So I'm gonna add the camera comp and the light comp. And rename the camera comp to projector I and the light to projector light copy translate uh, and to uh, light translate paste difference and also load it as well copy parameter to uh, paste rotate uh, in project light. That's cool. Next, I'm gonna add a rectangle sub and the orientation is XY plane. I'm gonna add the geometry comp and connect to this. So, I'm gonna add lender top uh, render uh, the cameras in, uh, in render top to project the eyes so let's drop it down so it's still a general, general light so we need to set the texture that we want to projection into the project map in light comp uh, this project map and the uh, light type uh, should be distant light this time the texture is made by constant top constant top because because of simulation now uh, and I assume that the projector resolution is 1280 by uh, 720 so let's set that then the resolution of the constant top is the barrier okay so light comp become a projector I want to talk about projection distance and the screen size I assume that projection distance is one meter so I'm gonna add 
I'm gonna put the value into uh, the translate that in the camera comp. And I also assume that the screen size is 37 inches. It means 0.819 meter by 0.461 meter. So let's change the size X to 0.819 and in the size Y to 0.461. So seeing the render top, it seems smaller for screen, right? To fix it, we need to set the projector angle. This time, this uh, projector angle. This time, 40, 45 is better, 45 is better. After setting the virtual projector, I add the main tool for projection mapping. You go to the palette and mapping. So what we use is this counter mapper. I'm gonna drop it in the viewport. This is a super helpful tool. We can create texture that we want to projection easily. Kanta means easy in Japanese. In One Piece, Doro said that when Usopp maybe leave the member, the scene sings Doro's determination. If you want to know more about Japanese, let me know, I can teach you. Anyway, I mean don't worry about using it. So let's open the window. At first, we need to background, so go back to the render top, and I'm gonna add new top, a uh, new top, okay? And I'm gonna put new into the back BG mask here. So I'm gonna put new into the BG mask uh, in counter mapper, and uh, press uh, this button. So we can see uh, background or oh, like new one top. Uh, new, new one top. I'm gonna press this create quad uh, button button. Then I get to create a rectangle like this. So we can change the color to yellow and the fit to the edge of background like this like this okay uh press the middle button and uh move it left and the right uh you can zoom in uh, you can do zoom in or zoom out so Close this uh, window and I'm going to add a new sub from the counter map uh, out top and switch it in the uh, projection mapping to this. Okay, so we can see in uh, projection the screen in render top, but we have some problems. Because uh, background is also a projection uh, top, so we have to change it. So I'm gonna add light, one more light comp, and one more render top. This uh, render top needs only only this light. Another render top needs only this light. Okay. So this render this render top is for the background and this is for confirmation of projection mapping. So this process is a demo of a mapping simulation. I'll change a parameter when I actually use a real projector like uh, here. Uh, it's helpful 
when you do projection, you wouldn't worry about where should I set the projector, how I adjust the texture or something like that. 